Have you noticed orange and black butterflies fluttering around parts of Kelloland while well, the monarchs are migrating right now? As Kelloland's Kelly Volk shows you, it's an interesting time for butterfly watchers. Kelly? Good evening, Sammy. Uh, check out this video from the Wagner area. Peggy Phillips sent it our way. It shows lots of monarch butterflies fluttering in the trees, and she's not the only one who's been noticing them. Takes a quick glance at Dave O'Hara's Instagram account to know he likes butterflies. Lately, the Augustana professor has made this observation. Lots of monarchs passing through just in the last few weeks. That's what I've been noticing. That's because they're migrating through the area. Sandy Richter with the outdoor campus in Sioux Falls says you'll see more in the eastern part of the state. The outdoor campus started collecting and tagging monarchs in mid-August. We want to find out more about the migration and how that process is happening. And you can't really put a tracking tag or a, you know, a, a collar or anything on a butterfly. Instead, you use a sticker like this one. And where we put that sticker is right on this little cell of the lower wing. Along with a special code on the tag, other information about the butterfly is noted and later submitted for research. Along with the date that we tag the monarch, um, if the monarch is a male or female, and whether or not we raise the monarch or if it was wild. Once that's done, the butterfly is released. Not only does this help researchers understand the migration of monarchs, but it also helps promote the insect. Monarch populations have been dropping drastically, and uh, so we've, we've kind of had a, a big push for creating pollinator plots and, and milkweed. If you ask O'Hara, the more butterflies, the better. I think this is all made by a wonderful creator who really loves the fine details, and I love discovering them. Richter says the butterflies are headed to Mexico. The outdoor campus is collecting this information for the Monarch Watch tagging program. The information will eventually be used by the University of Kansas. If you want to get involved in tagging monarchs, just follow the link in this story on Kelloland.com.